Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 91 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the Zoho placement exam. So last two weeks before Zoho exam was held. So in that they asked some aptitude questions. So from that I have taken three aptitude questions and we are going to discuss those questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and are not subscribe my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also last video in our channel if you see means we have posted about EPAM of campus recruitment and Cape Gemini of campus recruitment. And also before that KPIT we have posted and daily aptitude day 90 solutions also we have posted. So if you have not watched that video you can watch that video and previously last two weeks before we have posted about the Zoho flowchart questions uh, video and Zoho important aptitude questions video also I have posted. So if you are preparing for Zoho means you can watch that video so it will be very helpful for you. So let's get into today's topic and see what the questions were given. So the first question is how much seconds needed by a train to cross a 90 meter long platform if the train is 150 meter long and its speed is 72 km per hour. So what they are saying is we have to find the time in seconds for a train to cross 90 meter long platform if the train length is 150 meter long and speed is 72 km per hour. So this is the question they have given. So they have they are asking us to find the time platform length they have given as 90 meter train length they have given as 150 meter speed is going to be 75 km per hour. So time we have to find it in seconds. So speed we have to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second. So 75 into 5 by 18 if you do means I will get it as 20 meter per second. So we know the speed formula as speed is equal to distance divided by time. So here distance will be platform plus train distance. So if you have previously watched our videos means uh, you know why this platform plus train distance we are taking as the distance. Uh, then taking time to the left hand side and speed to the uh, denominator. Uh, substituting the values platform length is going to be 90 plus train length is going to be 150 divided by 20. If you do means you will get the time as 12 seconds. So option C is the correct answer for the first question. And the second question is I bought 5 pens, 7 pencils and 4 erasers. Rajan bought 6 pens, 8 erasers and 14 pencils for an amount which is half more than what I had paid. What percent of total amount paid by me was paid for the pens? So what they are saying is I bought some uh, pen, pencils and erasers. Rajan also bought some pen, pencils and erasers. But uh, what Rajan has paid is going to be half more than what I have paid. If I have paid uh, 10 rupees means half more than what I have paid means 10, uh, 10 half is going to be 5. So 5 more than what I have paid means Rajan will be paying 15. So that is the concept here. So we have to form it an equation. So 5 pencils sorry 5 pens plus 7 pencils Q I have taken it as pencils plus 4 erasers is going to be an amount A which I have bought. And Rajan is going to buy 6 pens and 14 pencils here if you see means they have given 8 erasers first and 14 pencils second. So you have to correctly substitute the values. So 14 pencils plus 8 erasers is going to be 1.5a. Why 1.5a half more than what I have paid. So uh, multiplying the first equation by 2 you will get it as 10p plus 14q plus 8 is equal to 2a. Uh, if you solve uh, subtract this equations you will get the p value as 0.5a divided by 4. In question what they are asking what percent of total amount paid by me was paid for pen. So we have find out the value for one pen out of the total amount value. Now we are going to find the amount for the five pens what we have bought. So we are multiplying it by five. So five into 0.5a divided by four. We have to identify the total percentage paid for the pens. So how we will be solving this uh, amount paid for the pen divided by the total amount into 100. So amount paid for the pen is going to be 5 pens. That is 5 into 0.5a divided by 4. If you do means you will get the answer is 2.5a by 4 divided by total amount is going to be a into 100. If you solve this means you will get the answer as 62.5 percentage. So option B is the correct answer for the second question. And the last question is in a particular week the average number of people visited the museum is 70. If you exclude the holidays then the average is increased by 28. Further, if you exclude the day which the maximum of 210 visitors visited the museum, then the average becomes 40. Find the number of holidays in the week. So what they are saying is in a particular week, uh, the average people visited the museum is going to be 70. So the total number of visitors in a week will be 70 into 7. If you do means you will get the answer as 490. We have to identify the number of holidays in that particular week. So X is equal to number of holidays because we don't know. Uh, then we are subtracting total number of days is going to be 7. 7 minus X that is X is going to be the number of holidays into 98. Why we are multiplying it by 98 because 
original uh, week average is going to be 70 if you exclude the holidays means the average increased to 28 so 70 plus 28 will give 98 so 98 is equal to 490 so solving this equation will get the x value as to so there are two holidays in that particular week so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel for more videos so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care